Today I'm going to demonstrate a little trick to explore web requests made by applications running on a mobile phone using a packet sniffer. If you've never used a packet sniffer, it is a program that intercepts, logs, and analyzes network traffic. These are powerful tools that have a number of security, debugging, and diagnostic applications. To get started, we're going to need a packet sniffer that runs on a mobile phone. I like Packet Capture by GrayShirts because I find it easy to use and it decrypts encrypted HTTP packets. In addition, it is free and categorizes traffic by app. I fired up the app on my phone. Hit the play button to start recording network traffic. You may notice that your phone generates a lot of traffic in the background, so you may want to record for short periods of time. This makes it easier to find the network packets you care about. Pressing the refresh icon in the AccuWeather app causes it to make an HTTP request in the background to get weather conditions. I stop recording in packet capture. Let's find the request related to a refresh action in the weather widget. This may take some digging. Note the HTTP request contains the get HTTP verb and URI at the top. The host and port number are at the bottom. Port 80 is the default for HTTP. I copied this information into the Chrome Postman extension so we can make HTTP requests directly and look at the responses. The response payload contains a lot of useful XML data. Many of these details do not appear to be used by the AccuWeather widget. You may have noticed the location query string parameter has a city identifier. Let's add a new city and look at the related HTTP request to find out more. Let's make the same request in Postman and look at the response. Notice the location attribute in the response. Let's try changing the location to a city name used in multiple places. The response payload contains an array of locations. To search for the right one, we must differentiate between them using the state, latitude, or longitude. I created a gem that wraps the AccuWeather web API. Check it out on rubygems.org. The source code is available on GitHub. That wraps up this clip. Thanks for watching.